Hey, welcome to Nourishable Raw, an authentic conversation about nutrition with me, Dr. Lara. Today is February 12th of 2019, which puts us two days away from Valentine's Day. And this has me thinking about aphrodisiac foods. The FDA defines an aphrodisiac as a product that will arouse or increase sexual desire or improve sexual performance. There's a bunch of foods out there with purported aphrodisiac properties, like chocolate, honey, strawberries, oysters, and red chilies. But is there any science to back up these claims? Now, the idea of aphrodisiac foods have been around for millennia. Many of the foods with claimed aphrodisiac properties look kind of like genitalia. Think figs and pears, or the phallic asparagus and bananas. The Aztec word for avocado means testicle. Other aphrodisiac foods have a fleshy genital texture, like oysters and clams, but there's no science underlying enhanced arousal or performance based on shape and texture alone. Some aphrodisiac foods contain vitamins and minerals that are necessary for sexual function. For example, oysters are high in zinc, and zinc is necessary to produce the hormone testosterone and to synthesize sperm. Now, maybe if you were deficient in zinc, then eating oysters would enable sexual function, but there's no data to show that consuming even more zinc will enhance enhance. So just because a food contains a nutrient that is necessary for sexual function doesn't mean that eating more of it is going to yield any magic improvements. Hot peppers contain capsaicin, the bioactive ingredient that gives peppers their spicy kick. Capsaicin increases heart rate and sweating, which are characteristics that are also increased by sexual activity, though there's no science showing that there's any link between that and libido. Buzzkill here, there's also no science underlying the aphrodisiac claims for chocolate, honey, or wine. There have been some randomized double-blind placebo-controlled trials in humans that have identified some potential aphrodisiac foods. Ginkgo biloba has been shown to act as a vasodilator by increasing nitric oxide. And this is a similar mechanism to Viagra, which enhances blood flow to the genitalia. Some small human studies have shown that maca root can increase sexual desire in healthy men and women and have some improvements for erectile dysfunction, though this data is still too early to really make any strong conclusions. Now, this is inherently difficult to study. Frequently, these studies rely on subjective measures, and we really have no idea what appropriate doses are or whether there are any interactions with other drugs, so it's too early to run out and buy these products yet. One of the takeaways from many of these studies on aphrodisiac foods is the power of of the placebo. Sometimes just thinking that something is an aphrodisiac can enhance sexual desire. So maybe just prepping something thoughtful and nice for your loved one can be your own unique aphrodisiac. Personally, I get lots of warm fuzzies when my partner makes me dinner with lots of colorful vegetables. So this Valentine's Day, or any day really, you know, you can pick your own personal aphrodisiac and have some safe and consensual fun. That's what science tastes like. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions you'd like me to address in a Nourishable Raw, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all things nutrition.